Okay, so now we want to look at creating the web pages and to demonstrate how we're going to do that, first I want you to visualize the scenarios um, requirement. So if we look back at the scenario, um, it tells us the page template should include a banner, it should include the logo, um, a navigation bar, and then it says a footer. So I want to help you to create pages in the simplest manner um, possible. What I usually do is use um, tables to do that. So again, to help you visualize it, what I'm saying is that I can imagine that a simple web page would always include a logo at the top, a navigation bar, the web page content, so all the things that are required for each page to be seen. And then it tells us that it also requires a footer. If you remember with the Facebook logo, the Twitter logo, and a link for the email. So that's what the layout for each page should more or less look like. To do that, um, I'm gonna show you how to create those pages with one table, um, and then we'll create a template which we will copy for each each individual um, page that we were required to make. So I'll start by opening Dreamweaver. Let's open Dreamweaver. And I'll show you how I'm gonna create that template. Right, once um, Dreamweaver is loaded, click on File and New. I'm going to create a HTML document. Click on Create. And like I said, I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. Now, if you remember, the requirements were that we created a page which was 124, sorry, 1024 by 768. And it says that that is iPad um, size. Well, that's what we want. So that's the width it has to be. Our page can't be more than that. Okay, um, and just make sure, because sometimes um, people using Dreamweaver make this mistake and they can't understand why they can't edit the page. Mine is set to design here. So on the top where it says code, split, and design, most people, when you first start Dreamweaver up, it's set to live, okay? Just make sure that you change that by clicking on the drop down arrow there and choosing design, otherwise, um, you'll, you'll be wondering why you can't edit it in the same way that I am. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm going to insert a table. So I'm going to click on the insert menu, click on table, and I'm going to insert a table with four rows and one column. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my, no, I'm going to keep it 100%. Okay, actually having thought about it, I remember that the brief says that the maximum resolution should be 1024 wide and 768 pixels high. So um, I think actually it would be more appropriate if instead I didn't leave it at 100%, but I changed that to pixels so the table width then can never be more than the maximum width of the website. So that might be better. So. I'll leave it like that. Okay, border thickness, I'm gonna leave that at zero. Make sure yours is zero. So you don't see the outline of a table. Now, what's happened is we've got four rows and they're they're really bunched up. They're not like the they're not spaced out in the way that I showed you of mine were. So that's fine as well. Before I do anything, let me quickly save this as template. So let's go to save as. Oh, that's why I did my go to my cider folder, and like I said. I was going to put my um, pages in the same place, not where my images were, one folder above it. So I'm going to just name this one template. Save it. Okay. And then literally now I'm going to drag my assets. I'm going to insert my banner, which includes my logo into the top. Then I'm going to also include my navigation bar. There we are. Now, what might be an idea is if I was to change the colors of my navigation bar or my advertising banner. So I can't change my navigation bar, that's set. So that the colors um, match my navigation bar a bit more. Also, what might be an idea is if, if I crop my navigation bar a little bit. 
So I'm going to do that quickly in Dreamweaver. Even though this is open, I'm just going to quickly edit these in Dreamweaver. So let's start with, let's, oops, let's open Fireworks first. And I'm going to quickly drag my navigation bar into Fireworks. Open that. Um, and I'm also going to quickly open my, uh, where's my logo? My banner. Yes, okay. And I think I'm going to use that middle color. So that middle color, I'm just going to click on the color itself. I'm going to copy that hex color there. Copy. Let's go to the banner. Oops. What have I done here? Just click on enter. Click on my banner. I'm going to click on the background canvas color of my... And I've made it the same color. Okay, um, I'm going to save that and close it. If I go to Dreamweaver, you should see that it's changed to the same color. And the other thing I said I wanted to do was I wanted to crop my I wanted to crop my um, navigation bar. To do that, I'm going to select each button one by one, and I'm going to be holding the Shift key at the same time, which would select all three. Then I'm going to right click, edit, and I'm going to crop document. So it will reduce the size to the width and height of my three buttons. And now I'm going to save that. Okay, let's close that. Again, if I go back to Dreamweaver, it's made that a lot bigger. I'm going to delete that because I want to reinsert it and hopefully it will insert it without it looking stretched and skewed. There we are. Okay, that looks a bit better. Okay, um, and what you see here, let's let's bring that to the center. So I'm going to click beside it, and let's click on CSS here and center, and it will move into the center for me, so it looks more organized. Um, and what you see is these will stretch out as I add more content into it. So here I'm not going to push. I'm just going to leave it as it is. That's where my main content is going to go. And if you remember, the last row was where we were going to add our um, footer. So let's start off by grabbing the Facebook icon and drag that into Dreamweaver there. Facebook icon and let's grab our Twitter icon. Oh, and actually it required us to drag the logo in as well. And we'll put the logo there. And it said the logo had to be a smaller version of the logo. So again, I'm just going to hold shift as before I shrink it to make sure that it keeps the height and width equal. Ideally, what I should do is I'm going to lock the aspect ratio so that the height and width status um, proportionate. And I'm going to make the height of my icons here the same as this. Um, so these are... 100 so I'm going to make sure that the height of this one is 100 as well and if I do that yeah it's move the width a bit as well so now they're all the same height so um, if you remember we had to create a link for this one and we had to create a link for that one and we had to create an email link so I'll do those in another video I'll show you that later okay so that's my template actually that's my template done I'm going to leave it as it is um, and we'll move on on the next video starting to work on the home page so save as template yes and I'll see you on the next video